Hello, fifth grade. For one of the activities you're going to be doing this week, it's called graphing the atmosphere. Uh, on the graphing the atmosphere activity, what you're going to be doing is you're going to start off by reading the graphing the atmosphere directions. Uh, for part one, it shows you about the different types of gases that are in our atmosphere. As you can see, about 78% of our atmosphere is actually made of nitrogen. 21% is oxygen, and the 1% is other gases, which include carbon dioxide and water vapor and uh, carbon monoxide and uh, argon, helium, all of the different types that we can think of, different gases that we can think of. As you continue down, the main activity you guys are going to be doing uh, this week is you're going to be graphing the atmospheric layers. So, as you guys read yesterday, our atmosphere can be categorized into five different layers, and basically those layers are determined by a change in temperature and a change in altitude. So, as you will see in your graphing, you'll see that it kind of swivels back and forth and back and forth as it goes up. Every time the trend reverses, so switches direction, you're going into a new layer of the atmosphere. So our atmosphere layers from the lowest closest to Earth to the highest are the troposphere, which we live in, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere, and finally the exosphere, which extends out into space. Uh, you guys are going to use the data table in the assignment uh, to create your elevation graph. After you're done, you can check it using the site that's right here. Now, for the graph, you can see it gives you all the points that you need to graph over on this side, and it has your graph right here. Now, over on the side, it gives you directions for what to do. First thing you need to do is you need to graph each point on the data table. So for example, if I click over here, it says use the circle tool to add a point. So what I'll do is I'll click shape, and I'll click over on the circle. So the first one would be 20 at 0. So 20 degrees at 0 elevation. And I would draw a point right there. The next point I would do, negative 45. So each one of these lines is worth 10 degrees. So I'll go in between the 40 and 50. And I'll make my circle using the circle tool again. I'll go up to 45 and 10 kilometers and I'll make my circle right there. Then what it asks you to do is connect the points as you go. So the zero would be connected to the 10 kilometer section. And to do that, you click on the line section, click the line tool, and you draw from there to there. So, that is our first line on this activity. Um, you're going to connect the points using that. Then afterwards, um, after you're completely done with all of your graphing on here, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a dotted line straight across where it switches direction. So, when it switches direction, what you're going to do is you're going to take a line, you're going to draw it directly across, you're going to click up here to the section that is the line dash, and you're going to click the dash section. So it's going to look like a dashed line going straight across. After you're completely finished with light finding the four dash lines, in the spaces in between, you're going to draw a text box, and you're going to type what the name of the elevation is, what the light, name of the layer is, which if you forgot, is listed right back here in our directions. Tomorrow you're going to be answering questions using this graph, so please don't misplace it. Have a nice day, everybody.